Hey, what's going on everybody? Hopefully you guys are having an awesome week. We are almost into the weekend, which is exciting. And I know I've been kind of slacking on the videos because these ball pythons are kind of throwing me off a little bit. Um, I added some new ones into the room, which is awesome. I know you guys saw the videos on that. Tried to get them on the same feeding schedule as my other ball pythons, which so far that's working. I only have maybe two or three that are actually on frozen thawed and then the rest are either eating live wrap pups or pre-killed or fresh killed uh, wrap pups. So they're eating, they're just kind of making it difficult because some will eat in the nighttime, some will eat right off the, uh, you know, right off the tongs when I, when I offer it to them. So making a video on that is a little bit difficult, um, but I really want to get them on frozen thaw before winter hits. And I don't think that's going to happen because it snows, we get ice storms and it can be a mess here in Ohio with the winter times. So trying to feed them once a week live and getting them live, I don't want to be stuck in a situation with the weather where I can't go out there and get food for a week or two weeks and then they don't eat for that long. Even though they should be perfectly fine, um, just I would feel better about myself if they were actually eating every single week. So it is the struggle with the ball pythons, that is for sure. That's why I love boas. Boas, I mean, I haven't had any issues with boas eating as, as babies or even as adults. Um, these females, I don't think, are of a maturity of age to breed. So I don't think they're going to go off of food anytime soon because of that. So uh, I want to show you guys just a couple of ball pythons that went into shed. And then my moon glow, I moved her into a bigger enclosure. So uh, I do need to feed these girls right here. And I figured that if I threw this video um, or the segment in with that video, it would just make it way too long so i'm just gonna do two videos for you guys hopefully you guys don't mind that so the first one i want to show you guys is this banana clown that just shed out and she he he is looking crazy like i love this purple and yellow combo and everything just goes together with it i love the nice tone of the yellow and then i love the purple striping that goes down the body and then it just bleeds into the yellow. I think that's super awesome. And then I really like the clown head markings on this one as well. And I definitely like, I mean, the spider head marking is nice, but I really think the clown has a much cleaner, better look to it. But that's just me personally. So he is one of my new ones and took a wrap up no problem and then obviously went into shed. So then he didn't eat last week. Um, so he should eat this week, hopefully. And so far he's been doing really well. I'm noticing after this shed that there's some black speckling coming out of this, uh, of this, the skin or the colorations. And I really think that might be the banana taking over a little bit. Um, I know the bananas, like the normal bananas, do have a lot of speckling. I could be totally wrong on this, but I believe the coral glows either don't get the speckling or they get far few, fewer than the actual banana. And I've heard a lot of people don't like the bananas because they have too much of the speckling, but I like it. It throws it off a little bit. It makes it look a little bit more random than anything else, but... Definitely, definitely love um, the clown mixed in with this banana. And I'll just, I mean, like I said this before, it just, I love how the purple just bleeds down into uh, the yellow colors on it. So the next one's not too exciting, but it is very, very exciting that he is growing. So it's just the basic albino. And then this is his shed right here but I do like the albinos I don't know what you could really put albinos in I know you can make uh, albino pides which look awesome 
but I really haven't adventured too far into the ball python world um, into seeing what people have actually put albinos mixed with. So I think I should probably do a little bit of research on that and see what people have come up with because that might be a kind of a cool thing to see. But I do really like the patterns on the albino ball pythons way more than the, Burm the albino Burmese and the albinos uh, for the boa constrictors, even though I do have an albino uh, boa. I think this is cleaner. I think it's brighter. I think the patterns and the coloration stay with these as they get older. And I just like how bright the white is against the bright yellow. So, but that's just me personally. And of course, he is eating perfectly on uh, rat pups. And I do believe he took a pre-killed last week so we're moving in the right direction on the the pre-killed going into the uh, frozen thawed and even hitting them up with a hair dryer soak them in hot water hit them up with a hair dryer still isn't working but i can whack a a live rat dead and put it in front of it and then it'll 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 eat it so just open her tub up tonight excited to see that Excited to see her growing, and she is definitely not in a good mood. Um, but she's getting big, so this is Pastel. This was my first ball python that I ever owned. And I really like her colors, even though she's definitely, she's faded a lot in her colors. When she was younger, she was more yellowy, but uh, like in here and stuff, a little bit more yellow. But she looks good, she's big. And I don't know how much she weighs now, but I know at the beginning of the year, she was at like 12 or 1300 grams and she's definitely gotten way, way bigger than that. So, you know, she's just been an awesome, awesome pet. And I'm glad that I had her and still have her even though she's, you know, for me, for her being my first uh, ball python, a lot of people, I guess, get old of their original snakes and then sell them. So I uh, I got the moon glow over here in the bigger cage that the black Mexican king was in. And I figured that was too large for a black Mexican king for just a baby king snake. Although I do have the female still in her larger cage. And so I put the male in a small one because I think the size is perfect for him and probably perfect for the female as well but they're eating you know no problems at all they act like normal king snakes they love food and they think everything around them is food as well so they do kind of like to be a little snappy at your fingers but it doesn't hurt since they're so small but he's well both of them actually growing very well and then We'll take a look at the moon glow so we can get one boa in the video and i know a lot of you guys do like seeing her even though she is one that i just picked up not that long ago probably a couple of weeks ago so she's made a mess of the bedding and then i have the same aspen in here so hopefully she does well on that she definitely dumped her water See what kind of mood she's in. She's not bad. So I'm wondering if she is going to go into shed since her skin is really saggy behind her jaw. Hopefully we can see her in what she looks like in brand new skin after her shed. I think she's going to look awesome. And I honestly would not be upset at all if uh, this is what she looked like as an adult. So. I know snows can get pretty yellowy and then keep a lot of the whites on the bands. And then hopefully she stays this nice, I mean, I would say she's even more of a yellowy white and then just a really nice white tone on her, uh, on her colors. So she ate very well the first time for me. So that is definitely good news. She ate frozen thawed, which is why I love boas because they you know rarely do i have i had any issues with a boa 
not eating. But so it'll be exciting to see how she grows and her growth rate because she's huge. Like I was told she's a 2020 and you know, she's probably only four or five, maybe six months old. Um, and she's bigger than my jungle hypo over there, which is extremely tiny compared to her. So that's it guys. Hopefully you guys didn't mind this short, quick video. Um, just showing you guys, you know, what's been going on in the room and, uh, you know, that's about it. So hopefully I can get this feeding video, uh, done tonight or tomorrow for you guys. And cause I know those girls are extremely hungry, but all right. Hopefully you guys have an awesome night and I'll see you guys on the next video.